What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. I might look like I've just been crying, it's just because I did a crazy cough just now. Uh, today is December 20th. Here it is. Whoa! I think those are a couple bells. Let's see. Oh, you can see how how terrible my hands look. Sorry, guys. There we go. Couple bells. Yeah. Mm. It's good that you didn't see them like ten minutes ago because they just cut my nails um, or clipped my nails, I guess, and now they look a lot better. Um, I got home from work and my nails were all dirty. Because, I don't know, I do dirty work, I guess, um, and, uh, you know, I try to, like, clip my nails as little as possible. Of course, I don't have them, like, super long, um, I clip them when, like, I try to clip them on, like, Sundays, so then I can have the whole week without clipping my nails, and then I can clip my nails, and then on Monday, when I go somewhere, like, school or work, um, I, uh, have freshly clipped nails that day, um, which is a stupid thing I do. I should just clip my nails when they're long, but um, you know, I you know sometimes I just try to space things out like that, and it doesn't make too much sense. Um, for breakfast, I had a cheese bagel with jalapenos and two pieces of sausage. What am I moving at? For lunch, I had some stew and a rice krispie treat and some Lay's chips and a banana, and a LaCroix. Um, and for dinner, I'm going to be having some oven pizza. Oven pizza, all pizzas from an oven, like frozen pizza. Now it's gross, sorry guys. Um, yeah, so I woke up at five this morning. Uh, and then I left to go to work at probably like 6 or 7 um, with my mom. Uh, we showed up. I So yesterday I got home and I was so wet. I was covered in water. I was soaked. Um, honestly, it wasn't that bad at all, uh, but you know, it, was, it wasn't it was great, right? I was so chaffed on my sides. This is why, that's why it look, looks red over there. My hands look crazy. I'm sorry, guys. Um, it's genuine, like yesterday, it was actually worse, uh, but it looks worse today. The reason why is because, um, you know, because uh, I, I, I wake up and I found out that I scratched my hands last night, um, and it's horrifying. You know, I can't control what I do in my sleep. I, put, I go to bed with socks on my hands every night, right? So then I, in an attempt that I don't scratch them, but, um, you know, I woke up a couple nights ago and I had scratched hands, um, and it was just sort of pinkish, uh, and this is gross, but it's like exposed skin, and it really hurts. Um, but now, you know, it looks a lot worse, it's a lot more red and kind of scabby, but it feels a lot better. Um, it doesn't hurt as bad, uh, water doesn't hurt it as bad, you know, I can handle stuff around dust now, um, and you know, it feels a lot better, it feels like normal hands. Uh, it's just they look crazy, uh, but it was a lot worse yesterday, even though it looked better. Anyway, so, you know, soaking wet yesterday, uh, and today my boss made me wear these, um, waders. They're like, like, I guess they're kind of like overalls, except they're waterproof, um, and they have little boots at the end. So then you put on the, uh, waders over your pants and socks uh, and then you put on shoes that are a size up your current like your normal size uh, to fit the waders um, over the little boots at the end you put boots on your little weird sock things that they have they're like plastic socks it's weird um, I have to sneeze one sec sorry guys I'm back uh, I, I didn't have to sneeze I just had to blow my nose but um, it was a lot hard it was it suddenly got way harder to talk and it was because my nose got plugged um, and so I had to blow my nose to get rid of that sorry I'm, I'm running a robot vacuum right now um, yeah so <clears throat> mm. 
Yeah, what, what, what am I saying? Uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, so I wore these waders, uh, the waist was way too big for me, but I was able to, like, tie it around, like, it, it was, it's made to sort of fit most people, so you just tie it up, and the looser it is, um, sorry guys, ever since I went to a friend's house on Sun. Friday, I think. Ever since I went to a friend's house on Friday, I've been like a little sick, but it's just been sick from allergies, so that's why I've been sneezing and, and talking about coughing, and it's been horrible. It's because it's been horrible, and it's. I'm sorry, guys, this video is such a downer. I'm being such a hater on myself today. Things are actually going okay. Like, I, I don't know. It's just, you know, I, I don't know. Things sound bad, but it's only because. <clears throat> Sorry guys, maybe things do suck. Maybe things are, are bad. <clears throat> hmm. Oh, um. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I wore these waders and um, yeah, pretty much I, uh, oh yeah, so um, my boss called in a dumpster to be dropped off, um, today, uh, yesterday, so, yesterday he called in for a dumpster, a dumpster to be dropped in today, um, so a guy came, well, in the very morning, uh, there were a whole bunch of pipes that I put, you know, because they were just, it was just a place to put them, uh, and the dumpster was gonna go there, so I had to move them really quick before the dumpster got there, and I had to be really quick, um, it's probably the most intense exercise I've done in a really long time, aside from cardio. Um, it was like strength exercise. Beads of sweat just dripping down my forehead. Um, I had to move all these big, like foot long in diameter, like like pipes, um, and I had to lift them, and I had to haul them on the dollies and moving, move around and stuff, and it was kind of horrifying. Um, I was able to move them all really quick, probably like 25, 30 minutes, which is, kind of crazy. Normally it takes me several hours to move all of them, uh, and I guess now I know I can move them in like half an hour, it's just like so not worth it. Um, I was sort of out of it for the next couple hours. Of course I kept working, but it was like, I was slow, um, and it was just because I was very sweaty, and I I was panting for dozens of minutes afterwards. It, it was kind of crazy. Um, but anyways, I had to really quickly move all this pipe, and luckily I just finished moving the last pieces of pipe out as soon as this dumpster arrived. So the guy dropped the dumpster, the dumpster guy was nice. Um, then we had this big dumpster, so I started moving all the trash pipes, the pipes we don't need, um, and that are trash and don't, aren't useful. Um, I started throwing them all into the dumpster, and my boss told me that, you know, once the pieces get too big for me to carry, he could just put them in there with a the forklift, but by the time they got too big for me to carry, there was still like a majority of the pipes left, and I didn't want to waste my boss's time, because my boss's time is worth way more than mine, right? And so I didn't want to waste my boss's time by him, like, getting pipe on the forklift and putting it into the dumpster. So, um, the thing I did was I, uh, it's like, hey, hey boss, like I'm a, like I'm a mobster. I was like, hey, bo hey boss, I have, hey, hey boss, I, I don't, I don't even, <laughs> I don't even know I'm going to do that. I'm sorry, guys. Um, and I was like, hey, how am I gonna, um, you know, uh, uh, is there, like, a ladder I can use to climb up there or something and put the pipe in or something? Because I, previously, I was just throwing it into the dumpster, and, you know, once it gets too heavy, you can't do that, right? And so he was like, no, but I can't just open the door on the dumpster, and I was like, oh, duh, right? I've never opened up the door of a dumpster before, so, like, of course I didn't know, but, um, yeah, so he did that, and... Luckily, I was just able to move the big pieces of pipe with the dolly over to the side and you know, kind of hoist it up and push it in and sort of put, push, like slide it into the dumpster more uh, so then it was more balanced. I'll be right back for a second. Sorry, guys, I wanted to put my pizza into the oven because my parents aren't home. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so... Uh, yeah, so I pretty much did that, and then um, I started moving some pipe um, 
basically we had like a definitely throwaway pile, a maybe pile of pipe, and a uh, definitely keep pile of pipe, right? And the pi and the definitely keep pile of pipe was kind of small. Uh, the uh, definitely throwaway pile was like mid. Uh, and the maybe pile was like massive, right? Cause I, I don't know much about pipe, you know, a lot of it is like case by case, you know? So me and my boss, uh, he showed me a flow chart he made, um, basically saying, hey, you know, if it's like this, you know, cut off four inches with the sawzall, um, cut off four inches off the end of the pipe that it's glued to with the sawzall. I also learned how to use a sawzall, um, which was cool. It's a very, very uh, powerful tool and it's very like, you know, it's one of those, like, yeah, I, you know, I, I, it's, it's incredible human ingenuity. It's, it's, um, I love sawzalls. Um, but anyway, um, <clears throat> yeah, so, uh, oh, wow, now, now my voice sounds really good that, that after I drank hot water. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, so, um, then I basically did that, then I had lunch, I ate all that food, uh, and then after lunch, uh, well, then during lunch, my mom reminded me that we had to go at 2.30, and I was like, oh my god, yeah, you know, because uh, it was like 1, like one twenty or something. So I did my work, you know, I was just doing the same thing, you know, so organizing the stuff, and, uh, I was just about to leave when my boss said, hey, um, you know, we're gonna have to bring the boat in, like, the boat's doing a, uh, the boat's like doing stuff right now, so it's like we don't have to deal with it. So it was sort of out of my mind all day, uh, the boat. But I, he was like, we have to bring the boat in, you know, tonight or tomorrow morning or whatever. Uh, so you're gonna have to move the pipe uh, out of the way of the door, so then the boat can go in. Um, and I was like, oh my god, because uh, I had to leave soon, and so I moved as much of the pipe that I could. But like, what, like, I. <laughs> it sucks because my mom ended up coming in and she was like, Leo, we have to go. And I had only done like half of the pipe. Luckily I did all the big stuff first, like the big annoying stuff. So the rest was just like smaller stuff and like valves. Um, so yeah, but it sucks that my boss asked me to do something and I couldn't complete it before the day was over. And now my boss will have to do it. That's just bothersome because that's not like my job is for my boss to not have to do things right and it sucks that Despite him asking me to do something. He still has to do it. It's just irritating um, So yeah, my day there ended up on kind of a bad note But I did learn how to use a sawzall and I learned how to you know open up the door to a dumpster and I learned a whole bunch of things and you know things were like You know things were things were pretty okay, so um, yeah. All right. See you, dude.